Okay guys, in the last video we completed the setup on the F16. Um, all the channels are assigned, it is pretty much ready to go. The only thing you have to do now is add expo and rates and that's what we're doing now. Mixer, okay. Ailerons, okay. Edit. Now, what this... Oh, I'm on the wrong channel. How did that happen? Oh, I guess I must have popped when I did it. Aileron, edit. Okay, so ailerons, okay, curve, okay. Um, everyone's different, and uh, a curve um, is, uh, everyone puts an expo on. I do, I put an expo on, and I just do a default value of 30 for everything. Fly the plane and see how that feels. And if um, I sometimes adjust from there, sometimes I just leave it, okay. And the difference, if anyone's used to other radio systems uh, versus um ethos one of the really cool things they do is they have a general curve for ailerons so right now it says expo there's no switch position it says 30 so if i had any weights wherever those switch positions are it'll always be that same rate okay if i wanted to i can add a curve um and a, a new one a new expo and then put that to a switch and so if it's in that switch position it'll go to the whatever the new curve is but if it's anywhere off of that position it'll go to the default curve same thing for rates okay so i do a general 30 curve for everything and then i'll adjust after i fly it okay so my base rate i'm going to make 100 so that's full rate okay and in other words I use this as my as my curves. I'm sorry, my um, um, weight switch or my rate switch, and I do low, Middle medium, rates, and high. high rates, so essentially, rates, what's really rates. cool is since I have a weight of 100, I'm going to leave that there, and I'm just going to add a new weight. Okay. Now this one is based on a switch position. I'll make this my mid rate. Okay. And that mid rate, I'm going to set it to say 75. Okay. And I'm going to add a new rate. Add a new weight, and that's going to be in Low the rates. top position. And that's going to be, let's make that, I don't know, 65. What's nice is this is a quick and easy way to do rates and, um, and expo. Um, I think it's quicker than Radio Master and Spectrum and the way that they do it because every switch position has to have its own expo and has to have its own, even regardless if it's the same or not, um, and rates. So here's what's nice is I didn't have to assign a switch position for 100 because as long as it's not in the middle position or the top position, it'll go to 100. Middle rates, high rates. There's my high rates. And notice that there's a curve for all of it. If I wanted to add a specific curve just for high rate, for example, I could just do that and add it for the high position, which is down here at the bottom, okay? And then my mid position and my low position will be the default rate of 30. So it's really nice, makes things very, very simple. All right, enough talk about that. Let's do elevator. So elevator, edit, okay. Active condition always on, curve. Let's do an expo and we'll do an expo of 30. And this expo again applies for whatever switch position the rates are at, doesn't matter. And if I wanted to add one, I can, but I'm not gonna, okay. 30 is good for me. 100 for the base rate, which is going to be high rate, add a new weight, put Middle this rates. to the mid position, and make that rate 75, okay, add a new weight, low rates. and we'll Middle make rates. that to the, high, low uh, the low position, and make that, I don't know, 60, okay, and rudder, We'll do the same thing, edit, curve 30, expo 30, weight 100, add a new weight, we'll go Low to rates. mid rate. Low rates, middle rates. Make that 75. Add a new weight, and we'll make low this rates. low rate, and again, um, these are arbitrary numbers until I measure it. So I will measure it at the field once I'm ready to fly. I'll get everything measured and adjusted, check my CG, but this plane is pretty much ready to go. All right, so that's it. That's a basic setup. I'll 
since this plane doesn't require flaps, I didn't do one on this, but I'll probably do a video on flaps because I do my flaps differently than what everybody else does. I actually prefer to have my flaps on a slider instead of a switch. Um, I just find it is easier to get to and on a lot of my planes, like especially my high wings, the planes I can fly slow, I love to just go in and out of flaps all the time. And so hitting a switch to me is just le less convenient than by just moving a slider since my finger is right there. So um, I'll show you both methods of how I do flaps in another video. All right, guys, um, that's it for now. We just did a basic setup. Um, I'll do another video later on on telemetry, um, adding telemetry and doing other stuff like that. Um, but I think we are good. So thank you very much, guys, and have a good day.